I'm guessing Professor Jiggett sent you right. No, Dad, he's got himself all confused over some mystery item again, hasn't he? <laughs> oh, sorry. Where are my manners? I've not even introduced myself, have I? My name is Roger Budger, and this is the Build It Basement. I was sent down here to the museum's basement to search through the archive of long-lost designs and inventions. There's some cracking contraptions down here. That's right. We... Marvin! Marvin, come on out, we've got guests! Marvin! Oh, oh, oh. oh, hello there everyone! Sorry I didn't even hear you come in then. I was too busy working on my latest invention. I call it... The Hamulet! <laughs> With just a flick of a button, the Hamulet will produce a delicious ham sandwich right out of thin air. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> Socks! Oh no! It's supposed to be ham! <laughs> Looks like I've still got some adjustments to do. Yeah, uh, a bit more work needed on that one, Marvin. Anyway, this lot didn't come here for sweaty sock sandwiches. Uh, they came here for treasure, didn't you? Victorian treasure, to be precise. Well, it just so happens that I've got a blueprint here for a corker of a creation that Victorian children would have liked to play with. Now, it's a bit tricky to make. Mm -hmm. It might even leave your head in a spin, but I think you can handle it. So, without further ado, let's, let's get, get building. building! Today, we're going to be making a Victorian toy called a Thaumatrope. It's made using two pictures back to back. Look what happens when I spin it between my hands like this. Are you ready? Oh, oh my goodness, now the bird is inside the cage. This is something called an optical illusion. Your eyes see the two pictures so quickly that your brain gets a bit confused and sort of mixes them together. Interesting, eh? So for this activity, you will need an activity sheet, a drink straw, a kebab skewer with the sharp bit cut off, or any sort of stick, a glue stick, a pair of scissors, a very sharp pencil, and some pencils or pens to decorate. So, the first thing we're going to do is cut out our activity sheet. There we are, snip, snip, nice and careful. Try and stay on that line now. There we are, and that's our first step complete. Oh, uh, 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 Roger? Uh, yes, Marvin? Uh, yeah, I'm having a bit of trouble cutting it out. Uh, do you think you can help me? Oh, oh, Marvin. You've not cut along the dotted line there, have you? Look, I'll show you one more time what to do. We're going to score all along that red line in the middle and push down a little bit. Now that we've done that, it should be easier for us to fold our two pictures in half like that. It makes it a bit easier, doesn't it? There we are. Are you doing okay with that, Marvin? Um, yeah, I think I've got it, but, but would you mind just checking for me? I, is this right? Oh, Marvin, um, you've folded it a bit too much there. I mean, how did you even... Oh, it's all right. You know what? I'll show you again. Try not to miss it this time, though. So... There we are. You've got it this time, haven't you? Oh, I get it. Sorry, Roger. Guess I got a bit carried away with the folding. <laughs> 
So I'm going to use pencil crayons because that's what I've got. But you could use pens or you could use just regular crayons. You know what? I think I'm going to go for a blue and an orange bird first of all. So let's see. How's yours coming along, Marvin? Oh, yeah, it's great. Oh, I love colouring in. I'm going to use my favourite colours, pink and purple. <laughs> Flip our bird over to the blank side like that. Then we're going to take our glue stick and we're going to glue all over it. I like to go like this and put a little bit in every corner. That's it. All the way down like that. There we go. Lots of glue on there now. Uh, Marvin, are you doing all right over there? Oh, oh dear. Um, um, well, uh, I seem to have got myself into a bit of a sticky situation. <laughs> oh dear, Marvin. Go and wash your hands and I'll finish up getting the glue on your drawing, eh? Oh, all right, yeah. <laughs> So the final thing is, we're going to take our stick, in my case it's a drink straw, and we're going to place it right in the centre of our picture and try and stick it down a little bit. And then we're going to fold it over like this and stick our two pictures together by pushing down on it like that. Make sure that your stick is nice and tight. And there we have it. Look at that. Uh, Marvin, I'll be over to help you in just a moment. Oh, that's all right, Roger. I've done that bit. <laughs> oh, so you have. Well done, Marvin. <laughs> so our thaumatrope is now complete. But here's a little bit of advice on how to get it to spin best. So first of all, Place it in between your hands like this. Now pretend that you're outside on a really cold winter's day and you've forgotten your gloves. So you're going to rub your hands together like this. That's it. And look, now we're getting our thaumatrope to spin really well, aren't we? You don't have to spin it too quickly either. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm uh, feeling a bit dizzy though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, eh? Oh, you are going to do a cracking job on this. I can tell already. And when you finish this one, you could make some more. Try some different experiments. All you need to do is think of two pictures that would go well together. Hmm. Mm. And there you have it, the Victorian Thaumatrope. <laughs> you know, the Victorians loved these things so much that they did lots of experiments with them. And eventually, they realised that they could create something that could not only combine two images together like the Thaumatrope, but could actually bring pictures to life. They called this invention the Praxinoscope. It's a bit like magic, isn't it? <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't make this thornotrope. <laughs> Maybe there's something more magical than optical illusions going on here after all. Uh, Marvin, did you build this thornotrope? Oh, no, not me, Roger. I've been busy trying to get the hamulet working. Think it's all sorted now. Eh, check it out. <laughs> Whoopsie Davy. Right. <laughs> well, me and Marvin better get on with cleaning up this mess. 
But thanks for stopping by the Build It Basement and we'll see you again soon. Till then, stay curious and remember, keep on building, boffins. <laughs> right, come on, Marvin. Let's get cleaning this up. Oh.